For communion today, I would like to read from Exodus 32, verse 16. The stone tablets were the work of God. The writing was the writing of God, engraved on the tablets. And this verse is the first occurrence in the Bible of the word writing, and it refers to the writing of God, not of people. All scripture is divinely inspired, of course, but the Ten Commandments were divinely inscribed. This testimony of their unique importance is a sobering condemnation for all who ignore them or distort their meaning. But there is another writing of God, this one recorded in 2 Corinthians 3.3. 3. You know that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts is no longer an external standard divinely engraved in stone by the finger of God, but an internal conviction inscribed in our hearts by the Spirit of God. Hebrews 10:16 states, This is the covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I'll write them on their minds. This remarkable writing of God's law in our hearts and minds has been accomplished because Christ came not to destroy, but fulfill the law, and has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. Now, with the law written in our hearts, we become letters of God, known and read by all people. And it's vital that the, reading, that the writing read true and clear through our lives. So as we partake of the communion elements this morning, let's thank Jesus for his sacrifice that enabled us to have this awesome privilege of being letters written from him to us all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the fact that you have written in our hearts, in our minds, that which is important to you and which makes for our lives to be the best they possibly can be. Help us to be wonderful letters to from you to those we come in contact with every single day. And thank you for these emblems that remind us of what Jesus did to enable that for us. We praise you and thank you for your presence in us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.